Valued viewers, join me on an adventure. We're starting a chess game. Here we go. Oh, I need to turn the volume down. That was loud enough to cause an echo, I think. But I am glad to see that the start game sound is back. For a few days, it wasn't playing, at least for me. It really, really shows the importance of those little UI touches, you know? You really notice when something like that changes, even if you'd never really paid attention to it before. All right, so we've got a lot of symmetry going on. Look at that. It reminds me of one of the rubies from Zelda, doesn't it? Or was that a little bit wider, like that? Eh, I don't remember. Uh, what are we going to do here? My opponent has not committed either of these pieces, so I'm not sure whether I can play C4 or C3 yet. So let's just develop a knight. <laughs> he better not do this. Okay, good. Finally, break that symmetry. Now I will play c4, so the point here, guys, is that he cannot play c5. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not totally sure why that matters. It's just something that I've picked up from game reviews and... Oh, actually, probably the most influential source was GM Amon Hambleton. He has a fantastic series about playing the London system. We're going to kick out this bishop. He's probably going to take. But anyway, that's what he said. He said, if they if they play c5, you play c3. If they bring their knight out or play c6, then you play c4. So it's just a rule of thumb. It's not always the best move, but it's usually at least excellent, if you know what I mean, based on the chess.com move rating system. So he's probably going to jump in here, noticing that I have a weak pawn. Uh, do I care about that? Do I care about that? Let's see. What else can I do? I can go after his bishop. Hold on a second. I go here. He attacks my queen. Yeah, I have to block. I don't really like that idea. Okay. I want to get my king out. Since he didn't take that pawn, I can't develop my bishop with a capture. And I don't really want to go here. Let's see what's going to happen. That would be fine. That would be fine, actually. I could also just defend this knight. I could take the pawn, but I don't want to open up too much with my king still in the center, right? So let's think here. He could go here. If I jump my knight to the middle, he could attack my queen. I could attack this pawn. Then he forks me and defends and attacks. That's kind of annoying. All right, you know what? Let's let's just offer a trade. I have no idea what's going on here, guys. Don't know the best move. That's what I mean. I, I mean, I have an idea of what's going on, but I don't know the best move. I'm out of prep. Which is kind of sad, because this has happened to me so many times. You know, when I get this doubled pawn, for some reason, I just can't remember the best moves. Hmm... Hmm, if I go here, we're not threatening anything. Now, he's attacking my pawn. Like I said, I don't want to go that far because he can attack me with this knight. But I wouldn't mind creating the battery. That seems decent enough. Let's do it. That might be okay. I'm, I'm gonna castle though. We're gonna castle. I feel like... Oh man. 
That just lost a piece, didn't it? Now there's only one defender of the night. Yeah, that was not good. That was unfortunate. And if he moves his bishop, then I'm going to win that pawn with check. Probably a good decision. Just get rid of the bishop. No need to lose a pawn. And I, if I had taken the bishop, I would have won this pawn. right? So if he had ignored it, I would have taken his bishop with my bishop. And when he recaptures... Okay, guys, we are a piece up, so we are going to accept trades, win another pawn. I don't, I don't even need to castle. I mean, what's the point of castling at this point in the game? All right. That looks like a nice spot, although I can immediately be kicked out, so maybe not. Let's see. I kind of want to just drop back, but this is the most threatening move. It forces him to improve his rook. <laughs> so maybe I should do it. No. He either, he either goes here or here, and his rooks are nice and centralized. Let's see. If I drop back this way, my bishop gets stuck. If I go here, I get harassed. So let's just go... All the way back. Let's be safe. We bring our knight in. Should I bother castling? I really don't know. I kind of want to jump here. If he attacks me, I jump here, but... Then where do I go? I don't really have much of a future, guys. Oh, well, let's take this the outpost. We're on an outpost now. So that's nice. This is apparently called a Pillsbury Knight, according to Daniel Naroditsky. That's where I got that term. It was created by a guy named Pillsbury in the early 20th century, I think. Okay, now my bishop's on a beautiful outpost. Okay, block that. I mean, I, guys, I'll be honest, I don't really have a game plan here. Let's see, let's attack, let's attack that pawn. Okay, let's attack this pawn. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start attacking stuff. Like I don't have an optimal checkmate idea here, but you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> let's just. I want to... Can I attack that guy now? Can I bring my rook up and attack? Yes, I can. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Okay, well, you know, it's, it's his right. Guys, if he wants to... Drag this out... That is actually just fine. I, it's a good practice for an endgame. Let's see. I need to just start opening things up, right? Let's see. Push. No, that looks terrible. Should I attack that pawn? Oh, I have a feeling he's about to kick me out anyway. Hmm, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, let's see. If I go here, no. How about that? 
Oh, hold on. I can only... Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I already moved that pie. I can't go too forward. So if I go here and he attacks me, then I have to back up to here. That's fine. I just want to make some trades. That's all. That looks silly. Unless I push this pawn first. Alright, now I drop back. Oh wait, he's just going to attack me with this pawn again. Oh, if he does, then I go back. And now, Forky Fork. He can't defend everything. Oh, oh my god. Did I almost do that? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. What do I do here? Let's see. Where's his king going? Let's attack that pawn. He's got to maintain guard of something here, right? Push. Dude, why is this so hard? <laughs> well, okay, he's got almost everything on light square, so my bishop is kind of useless. Except for these pawns that I fixed. That was, that was my brilliant plan. So, uh, guys, I need to bring my other rook over this way, don't I? That's, that's what I have to do. And you know what? I can take my time. There's no rush. Oh, my God. It's like he knows everything that I'm planning. <laughs> okay. Let's do push, push. That's that's got to be the move, right? We're we're gonna bust this open a little bit. Did he hang a pawn and I didn't notice it? He sure did. Okay. We are going to win this pawn. My king is going to be the most active king that I've ever had. Dead center of the board. Okay. If I give a check... Oh, I lose my rook. <laughs> let's let's grab that pawn first. My bishop has two defenders. Well, three now. So I'm not really worried. I'm going to give a check. Yeah, that still doesn't scare me. I don't think. Fork? Should, should, do I dare, guys, do I dare fork those pieces with my king, with four rooks on the board? Can I fork a rook and a pawn? Let me think about this. If he defends, I take, because I'm no longer pinned. If he defends with this one, I take the rook. I'm going for it. I don't know if this is smart. I don't know if this is brilliant or like the dumbest plan I've ever come up with, but I'm taking the pawn. He can't stop me. He can't stop me, guys. I'm 
I'm gonna take the pawn, then I'm gonna go here. That looks like a safe square. I'm my king is creating his own safe space. That's what's happening here. Well, whoa, that was a mouse slip. I've also got this move. I don't know what that does. Okay, so I grab the pawn. Yeah, I mean, what did that accomplish? Right, I grabbed the pawn, that's what I wanted to do. Is there some trick here? Not that I can see. Yep, that's where I wanted to go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to clear out some pawns. And look at that, guys. Now... Okay, that was a nice move. That was unexpected. Um... I kind of want to give a check first, but I couldn't tell you why. Let's see. If he goes up, I give another check. If he goes here... Ooh, then I can't get out of the pit. Hold on a second. I go up this way. If he takes, I take. I go up this way. If he attacks, I take. Yeah. Seems okay to me. Now, take with the pawn or take with the bishop? Does it matter? Does it matter? I honestly have no idea. I'm going to take with the pawn. And... Huh. What's he doing? Oh, he wants to go here, maybe? No checks. Well, I mean, we can trade. That would be fine. Guys, what are the chances that I lose this game? What do you think? I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I'm feeling like 1% or less that I mouse slip or blunder. Perfect. Okay, so he can't do anything with his king except try to cut me off. Oh, he wants to go here. He wants to get in and attack my pawns, huh? But he can't. I'm just going to push that pawn and everything is defended. So I'm going to come win this pawn and then it's going to be game over. I'm going to let him get closer. I'm going to give him some hope. I I'm going to let him build up his hopes. There, everything's protected. <laughs> hopes and dreams crushed. There we go. All right, get to a quick game review. I think, I think that went okay. My opponent just had that one blunder where he let me get... He, he removed the defender of his knight. Oh, 92%. That's rough. All right, so C4 was not even excellent. It was just good, and it threw away my entire advantage. Now, guys, I'll be honest. I can't explain that. Really can't. I'm going to actually check the engine lines because, yeah, sure enough, advantage gone. That's, that's really surprising. Usually, it's one of the best moves, so I don't know. What is going on? There's like no advantage here. Usually this line works pretty well. There's the blunder. We just trade things off. I win another pawn. It's all good. 
These are terrible moves. Every move just has a check mark. I mean, they're not bad. Excellent. Oh, that was his. Ex uh, excellent. Good. Yeah, there was no threat here. Like, I don't know. I just didn't have a plan. Like, oh, I'm going to attack that pawn. Well, turns out he was able to defend everything except... Yeah, it was the pawn break. I probably should have done that pawn break much earlier. Right? So that's something to learn from this. You got to open up the board a little bit because when your opponent has two rooks, I guess he can defend against your two rooks. Like the rooks are not enough and I couldn't really use my bishop because everything's on a white square except that guy. But I mean, my bishop can't, <laughs> I just can't do anything about that. So yeah, there is a good end game lesson here. That's good. King move, best move. Yeah, you gotta use your king. He's like my light square bishop who's suffering from a grave injury that prevents him from running or something, you know? He's just limping along, but still, he's my only piece that can attack the, the dark square, or sorry, attack the light squares. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Bye.